Okay, hi everyone. According to my birth certificate, you know, my name is a Brandon. You know, I was abused and, you know, I mean, this chair, you know, I'm kind of disabled, you know, I'm a mental health patient, you know. Uh, I got beat up a lot, you know. I was like a nerd when I grew up. I read a lot of books and stuff like that. I did a lot of Bible study, you know. I was called like a quiet nerd or a church boy. And I believe in God, you know. I love God. I believe in God, you know. I made a video, you know, about books and how some people made books into an idol god, an idol god. I read a lot of books and studied different religions and I learned. People told me, you know, that when they wrote those books, they would use the truth, something that's true. And then when you read it, you'll be like, Hey, this makes sense right here. I like this right here. And then they would start telling lies. It's like bait and switch. They would say something is true to get your attention. And then when you start paying attention to the parts that you heard that, that's true, then they would tell a whole bunch of lies and say a bunch of crazy stuff in them books, you know, stuff that you're not supposed to do. So, you know, I would always say God is not a book. You don't want to make a book into an idol God, I-D-O-L, an idol God. You know, whether it's the Bible, whether it's the Quran, whether it's any of those books, you know. They say, how many people made a lot of money? using the same book over and over and over again every Sunday or every Saturday. Because, you know, some people do it on the first day and some people do it on the seventh day or they call it the Sabbath day. Some people, like, different people have different days that they call the Sabbath day. They say a lot of people lost their life and wasted years of their life arguing over a book. And that a lot of people was bearing false weakness. None of the pastors or the preachers or evangelists or speakers that talk about those names, none of them ever said they was actually there on the day of creation. In the beginning, when the world was made. So, you know, the way it's been explained to me is that those people were just stealing your money and wasting your time. And they made a fool out of all of us, even me. I went to church a lot. I paid for a lot of those books and stuff. And even when they get the books away for free and then invite you to their church. It's the same thing, bait and switch, just to pull you in and to get you to be a part of the group. When you ask those people, I'm not going to even say any of the names because some of the people said that all of the names in those books are the name of an evil spirit, a demon, or a devil in demonic possession. It's what some of the people said. So these are not my ideas. I would never want to take credit for someone else's idea. So people said that, you know, if you believe in God, you should ask God for whatever it is you, that you need, you know, because when you read those books, 
believing in a book or believing in the scripture is not the same thing as believing in God. Believing in a name that someone put in a book is not the same thing as believing in God. When I say I believe in God, I'm saying that I believe in God. Other people made a lot of videos saying that a word means this or a word means that or it means something bad. I'm not talking about any of that bad stuff when I'm talking about God. Some people call it Allah. Some people call it the Lord. Some people call it Jesus. Some people call it those different names. And you know, I made a mistake because I said I wasn't going to say any of those names. So, you know, I'm not perfect, you know. And God never told me to be perfect. Just because a book said something about being perfect, you see, God is not a book. People have been saying that you can get sick and you can die and you can lose your life believing in a book more than you believe in God, you know. If God asks you, did God tell you any of those names are the name of God? Did you swear by any of those names? If God asks you, are any of those names the name of God's children? Did you swear by any of those names? Have you bared false witness? Did you say you know for a fact the name of a son of God, the name of God? Whether you say it starts with the letter Y or the letter J or the letter H or any letter. Did you bear false witness as if you were there and you seen and you saw and you heard from God yourself? any name of any being, whether you call it an angel or a son or a God or a Lord, have you said something out of your mouth about God, angels, and names, and you really don't know what you're talking about because it's something that someone told you or something that you read in a book and if you don't want to bear false witness, you can't really say that God told you any of those names. I came here to help people, you know. And this is how I'm helping people right now. I was taught bad stuff growing up. And I've used some of those names. I've used the name Jesus. I've used other names. You know, the names of those people in those stories that are included in the collection of books that they call the Bible, you know. And um, I'm not sure how the world works or how what it all means or whatever. I'm not a know-it-all. I'm not a genius. I'm very stupid because I'm 38 years old today. I've been 38 years old since March 4th. And um, I don't want to be arrogant like the other people. You know, those people that make those videos and they swear that they know the name as if they were there, you know. Because the only way you can know the name is if the person themselves or if the being themselves told you the name. If they did not tell you their own name, then it's just something that you think or something that someone else told you is the way it was explained to me. So there's been a lot of people for years that have sold books, started businesses, 
started religions using different names. And I'm not going to do any of those types of actions. <laughs> so, you know, for my wife, for my family, what you should know is if God did not tell you any of those names, whether it's in the Quran, whether it's in the Bible, whether it's in any book, it doesn't matter who told you any of those names. If God did not tell you any of those names, you might not want to use those names. If I ever used any of those names, I pray nothing bad happens to anyone if I ever influenced anyone to use any of those names or to call on any of those names. And I was taught to use a name at a church. And I told the person, you know, who was with me when I went to church, I was praying with them and calling upon those names. I'm not sure if it was a demon. I'm not sure if it was a devil or something bad. Because some people say all demons are not bad. Some demons are bad and some demons, it's not their fault the way they were born. So I'm not sure, you know. They say it's not good to be a know-it-all. And with all of these bruises and marks and stuff on my head, I'm kind of crazy and I had brain damage. But I'm not suicidal. So, you know, this video, if I've helped someone, God bless you. And I'm not talking about a bad guy or something that wants to hurt you or something that wants to kill you. No, no, never. I was taught wrong growing up. They use those names and they told me to use those names. But when I got older, you know, they said, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. They was like, some of the stuff in those books are true. But there's more lies in those books than it is true. Anyone that believes in God or Islam or any of that, they would know you can't make the book into an idol. God is not the Quran. God is not a scripture. God is not the Bible. God is not any of those books. Because if you love those men who wrote the books, more than you love God. And if you love those books and those scriptures and the art more than you love God, it's not the same as believing in God, you know. So, you know, about those names and those books, I'm not starting a religion or any of that, you know. There was bad spirits in some kind of demonic position that tried to take over me. And it's part of the reason I think I'm in this chair right now. I don't want any of the bad spirits or any of those bad, evil ways, you know. I'm not sure who wrote those books. And it would be wrong for me to bear false witness. I can't say who wrote those books because I'm not sure who wrote those books. You don't need a book to believe in God. You don't need a book to pray. You know. Because people use those books to to argue, to make money, and to have competitions and stuff like that. And 
fight and ruin people's lives is what they've done with those books. Arguing over names. And no one is actually sure if any of those people actually existed because there's not an eyewitness of any of those people actually meeting, meeting God. There's no evidence that any of those people actually had a relationship with God. It's just words that they said. So if they say I have a family and a wife and I'm married, I don't want to say bad stuff just because other people wrote it in books and did stuff like that, you know. So I've done my job today. And I'm not suicidal because I care about people. So if you understand what I'm saying, thank you. God is not a book or a name. 